What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing Community and Garage. So in this video, we're talking about the Double Black Rennie Doyle Collection Inspiration Ceramic Coating. This is the P&S product, their ceramic coating. You might be uh, familiar with Bead Maker. They've got a few different products out, but I've never actually used the uh, Rennie Doyle ceramic coating. So in this video, I want to review it and unbox it. So with ceramic coatings, you really do need to make sure that you follow the manufacturer's directions because a lot of them can be super finicky. So included in this little box is probably a bit of an installation guide. Yep, installation guide. You've got, I'm assuming this is probably part of the application process here. You've got, it's kind of like a, I don't know, velvety uh, material. You got a sweet, oh, here we go. It lets you tell kind of like a Jiffy Lube sticker, like when you installed this. And then it comes with the coating itself right here. A lot of these ceramics, if you're unfamiliar, they come in a little glass bottle. Now I'm going to spare all the boring stuff. This car has been totally prepped for the ceramic. and I'm not going to explain that whole process, but this says right here, coating application, use applicator pads supplied, open bottle and apply between six to 12 drops of the coating to the applicator pad. That's important. Apply coating using a crosshatch pattern to ensure that it's even, apply in a two by three area, observe product as it begins to flash, usually between 10 and 30 seconds, depending upon the temperature, use two microfiber towel, the two microfiber towel method to lightly wipe coating, use towel number one to lightly wipe uh, and even out the finish, use towel number two to polish to a bright finish using light pressure, continue systematic application of coating to the entire painted surface of the vehicle, apply second coat, within 45 to 60 minutes. Typically, once you have finished the first coat, you are ready to apply a second coat. Repeat entire process for second coat. For best results, apply two layers of the coating. I am not going to be applying two coatings of this. I'm just going to be applying one coat. It does say right here, in the event that the coating sets up quickly, we recommend dampening the towel number one, your initial buff off towel, with water to aid in proper coating distribution. I've never heard of dampening your towel in order to help spread the product, but if that's true, that's fine. I'm just going to be applying one coating. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I'm using two new microfiber, microfiber towels. I suggest always using two microfiber towels that are new for obvious reasons. Now, I've dealt with a lot of ceramic coatings and most of them give somewhere around a 30 second dwell time. They generally say two by two, two by three area. I'm gonna base it, because of the environment I'm in, I'm gonna divide the hood in half. I'm gonna do this half and the second half. It's a bit of a larger area, but it probably could be like, I think that's probably two by three actually. Now, different, Ceramic coatings give you different options or different directions when it comes to how much you need to use and it's important that you follow that pretty much to a T. I've found that if you don't follow that to a T, you end up kind of getting frustrated because you're not getting the results you want. So this says six to 12 drops. So I'm gonna do six to 12 drops kind of like down the middle, that ought to do it right there. Okay, the reason I'm doing it down the middle of the applicator is because as I pull it this way, I kind of want the applicator to be able to even it out for me. So first I'm gonna apply to this side here, and I'm gonna kind of spread it on my own real fast so I can get it on the rest of the applicator so that as I pull, I kind of get all of this. I'm gonna get the chrome around the headlight as well. Again, they say crosshatch pattern, but when you're working in a place where you can't do a crosshatch pattern, like a circle, because this is a headlight, <laughs> you can't do that. Okay, I'm actually gonna do a bit of a smaller area than I originally intended, just because I wanna kind of, it's good to kind of see how these coatings tack up before you use them. So, Go back over it here, cross hatch like this. All right, then. I get my first microfiber. Generally, I like to use the low pile side and I'm going to buff it off, kind of 
during my application process, kind of let that sit for a sufficient amount of time, I think. And then I'm just going to very simply buff it off. Couple notes real fast. First application, super easy to buff off. Nothing crazy. Sometimes you'll find that certain coatings are very, very difficult to buff off. And uh, this one is definitely not. But again, it says if you have any trouble, you can use a little bit of water or damp uh, towel. So then I'm gonna take my second microfiber. I normally use the high pile side. I can just buff in circles. People say, don't do circles, you're gonna get squirrel marks. Well, that's only true if there's uh, something in my applicator, or in this case, my towel that I don't want to be there. So, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the hood. All right, so the hood is done. I'll give you just a quick little glimpse real fast. It looks awesome. You can check out that gloss. No doubt, visual appeal, 10 out of 10, right? I mean, as the light hits it, you guys can see it looks fantastic. Let's go ahead and do the rest of the car and uh, we'll see what it looks like afterward. All right, the coating is totally applied. So I'm gonna take you guys around real fast just to let you see as best you can out of sunlight and in garage light. Though this is like detailing light. It looks wet, it's awesome. The paint looks fantastic. It's, again, from a, from a visual standpoint, it's like unbelievable. Definitely super deep gloss, shine, love it. Let me give you one more look up here. Kind of a look of the whole car. There you go. Unbelievable. It looks even better in person, honestly. The light doesn't do it justice, nor the camera. Now, as a quick side note, the directions do say we don't recommend you use this product if you're not a trained professional. But I'll say from a guy who's used a lot of professional grade and retail grade ceramic coating, I would categorize this more as the retail grade as far as like, are you gonna mess something up if you don't know what you're doing? Probably not in my estimation. Could be wrong, you know, a lot of people out there, but I would say that if even if you're beginning and you wanna get a good ceramic coating, now I don't know how long this lasts, and the directions don't specify how long it needs to cure, so I imagine 24 hours out of the rain or the elements, so keep it in the garage for 24 hours, and you're probably good after that, but I would love a comment below if you guys have used this, what the cure time looks like, because I couldn't find it in the directions. But if you guys want to check out anything I used in this video, the Rennie Doyle Inspiration Ceramic Coating, the microfiber towels, anything like that, I'm going to hook up links below to where you can buy that. So if you're interested, just look below in the YouTube description box. You can find anything there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.